x square minus x cube is equal to 36. We have to find the value of x. So, x square minus x cube, if you send 36 to the right hand side, it will be minus 36 is equal to 0 or x square minus x cube minus 36 we can write it as minus 27 minus 9 is equal to 0. Now let's rearrange it without changing the equation. We can write x square minus 9 minus x cube minus 27 is equal to 0 or we can write it as x square minus 3 square minus 3 square then minus and then parenthesis x cube plus minus plus will be minus 27 as 3 cube is equal to 0. Now this is in the form of a square minus b square differences of square so we can write it as a plus b times a minus b so we can write it as x plus 3 times x minus 3 again this x cube plus 3 cube this is in the form of a cube plus b cube again this is an algebraic expression you can write it as a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square so we can write it as minus x plus 3 then times x square minus 3x plus 3 square is equal to 0. Now this x plus 3 and x plus 3 is common so we can write x plus 3 as a factor then x minus 3 minus this x square minus 3x plus 3 square is 9 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 then bracket x minus 3 minus x square plus 3x minus 9 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 then x plus 3x is 4x we can write here minus x square plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Now we have two factors here. When x plus 3 is equal to 0, then x is equal to minus 3. So this is one value of x. Let's write it x1 is minus 3. When minus x square plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Let's multiply both the sides by minus 1. So it will be minus minus plus x square minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. Now using the discriminant method we can find the roots for x where x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a where a is equal to 1 coefficient of x square b is equal to minus 4 coefficient of x and c is equal to 12. So x is equal to minus minus 4 plus minus b square minus 4 is c under square root. So minus 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 12 upon 2a. a is 1. So 2 times 1. Or x is equal to minus minus plus 4 plus minus 16 minus 48 upon 2. Or x is equal to 4 plus minus 16 minus 48 x minus 32 upon 2. Whenever there is minus inside the square root, we can write it as 32 times minus 1 under square root. So this is an imaginary number so we write i instead of minus 1 under square root upon 2 or x is equal to 4 plus minus 32 under square root is 4 square times 2 under square root times i upon 2 or x is equal to 4 plus minus 4 
times square root of 2 i upon 2. Now we can take here 4 common and write 1 plus minus square root of 2 i upon 2. 2 times 2 is 4 or x is equal to 2 plus minus 2 times square root of 2 i. So second value of x is 2 plus 2 times square root of 2 i and third value for x is 2 minus 2 times square root of 2 i. And the first value was x is equal to minus 3. So these are the three values for x. Let us verify this answer when x is equal to minus 3. Question given is x square minus x cube is equal to 36. We have to check whether LHS is equal to RHS. x is minus 3 whole square. Then minus minus 3 whole cube. When minus is inside the bracket, it is also squared. So, it will be 9. Then minus, it will be minus 27. So, 9 plus 27 is equal to 36. LHS is equal to RHS. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.